Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be uploading a garage sale haul for you guys today. I was out garage selling all morning. It was my first time out garage selling this year because citywide garage sales had just opened up in a town nearby. So I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. I found so many goodies. Um, a lot of this stuff I am reselling because I am a reseller. I'm gonna try to post my eBay and Poshmark info down below. I recently started Poshmarking and I'm having a lot of fun doing that. Um, so, I'm going to show you guys what I got. This might be a longer video because I have a lot to show you guys. So, go grab a snack and a beverage and make yourself comfortable. Because there's some good stuff you guys want to see in here that you don't want to miss out on. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is this Yeti cup. This was $5. If you guys don't know, these are at least $30 or $40 brand new. I'm just giving this to my husband because we love our Yeti cups. Then over here, these three pairs of shoes I found at the same garage sale. Each were $10. I thought it is higher than I usually would pay for garage sale stuff. But these look so new that I thought it would be worth, worth the risk of making a profit reselling. Plus they're my husband's size if I can. So win-win. So all of these are Nike, I believe. These look so unique. They only look like they've been worn maybe a couple times. I'm going to clean them up a bit. Look how unique this is. Do you guys know anything about anything that I'm showing you? Please comment down below because sometimes things are rare and a person won't know it until it's too late when they sell it for cheaper than they should have. Then there's this pair. I love this speckled um, rubber part here. Very new looking and very clean. And these ones were really unique. I think that that's just a spot here that I'm hoping to wash off with a damp rag. But these also looked really new. Obviously, I'm going to scrub the bottoms down too. Okay, so those are the shoes. I also grab this Mr. Potato Head. I'm not sure if these are worth anything anymore. If not, I'm just going to give it to my nieces or nephews to play with. I'm just starting from this big pile over here. I kind of did a quick show and tell with my husband before he left for work. But then I thought I might as well show you guys. Because I know a lot of you love my Grotzel hauls. So, this was a dollar. This is a camouflage sports bra. I might just keep that for myself. We'll see if it fits. But I thought, how cute is this? And it is All in Motion brand. I think that's from Target. Then I found this. It's a super long, um, really soft zip up jacket. I could not pass this up. Look at that cute mountains and moon symbol on it. This was five bucks. I'm sorry if I repeat myself ever. <laughs> um, this didn't have a brand in it, but I thought this is gonna be awesome wearing camping or outside here in Minnesota. The weather's unpredictably cold. <laughs> okay, next. It's hard as a reseller to Deciding if you, should, if you should keep things for yourself or sell it. Obviously, if there's not a big profit intake, I just sometimes decide keeping it for myself. This is a pair of Eddie Bauer medium leggings. I might keep these for myself because I live in leggings. Eddie Bauer is such a nice brand, good quality, and these looked pretty new. Those were $2. Next, I found this sweater. It's a really cute loft sweater. It is. Just looks like this. Two dollars. Then we have this. I think I might just keep this for myself. I'm not familiar with this brand, but it was super cute. Just a cute basic plain sweater but it had this cute little knot thing in the front 
and it is long on the longer side so I really like that and it's so soft good for leggings sorry if this video is so cringy and shaking I'm trying to do a good job here then I found this Lascana Venus size large romper kind of built-in shorts it's really long um, the lady said she never wore it, so I'm really excited to try it on. I might have to tie these to make them shorter, because I'm not a super tall person. But look how beautiful this floral pattern is on this. It's so pretty. Then I got this for one of my nieces. This is brand new with tags. It almost has a vintage vibe to this, just because the tag looks a little bit you know, on the older side, but the tags were still on it, so it is brand new, and I got this for $1.50, but look how cute the Winnie the Pooh is on here. I love Disney stuff. I don't know, is Winnie the Pooh Disney? I, do, I guess I love, like, cartoony stuff for babies. <laughs> Okay, then I got this. I'll probably just keep for myself because it's more of a basic brand. Or it's not even branded. But it's so hard to show you guys stuff one-handed. Okay. It's got those cute crisscrossies in the v-neck. Just a cute tank top for summer. That was a dollar, I believe. This was a dollar. This Harley Davidson. Um tank top. Harley Davidson sells really well for me. It looks really new too. Let me show you the back. Really nice. Next pile. This was two dollars. Roxy um, long sleeve rash guard. I'm going to try this on. If it doesn't fit, I'm going to sell it. Um, I do wear a lot of rash guards now because they found out I had skin cancer last year and had to have four spots removed. So I'm really careful in the sun now. I'm very fair skinned. So whenever I see a rash guard shirt, I grab it because these things are spendy if you go buy them brand new. And we have... A kid's marmot um, set here. You guys can see the pattern. These are the pants. And the pants were $2 and the shirt was $1. I thought this, was make, ugh, this would make a really good set online to sell. Marmot's a really good brand. Really nice. And it's still in decent quality. Then we have these pants here. These are Secret Treasures brand. I think that might be from Walmart. But look at this cute camel, and they're so soft. I might just keep these for myself. Extra large a little big, but it comes with drawstrings, so I'm probably gonna have to keep those, I think. Oh, can't beat a buck. When things are like a dollar or two, I don't mind keeping it for myself, especially if it's not like a high-end brand. Then I found these Under Armour shorts. Under Armour usually sells pretty well for me. These were $4 and they look in excellent condition so I couldn't pass that up. Then this, I thought, oh my gosh, this is really a really good find. This brand here, cool, I think that's how you say it. Look how cute these shorts are, I wish they were in my size. These were four dollars. Really good brand to keep your eye out for. Next, yep, I splurged. I splurged on these because Lululemon are always extremely expensive. I've went into that store multiple times and their leggings are like a hundred and some dollars each. And yeah, size 10. I'm gonna see if I can fit into these. And um, hopefully I can keep them for myself because 20 bucks is a little bit more spendy um, I might not make as much because I spent so much but 
I would definitely get my personal use of $20 for these leggings and they look so new. They're, they're showing up a bit more purple on the camera for some reason. I think it's because of my lighting in here, but they're actually more of a dark navy blue, almost black. I'm so excited about this. They have cute little zipper pocket in the back. Oh my gosh, can't beat that. Then another splurge. Yes, this one was $20 as well, and a lot of you are cringing right now. But as I said, some of the leggings I've seen are close to 150 bucks in the store, size 10. These would probably fit me. And it's a really nice kind of green sage color. I'm obviously going to throw everything in the wash because I see like hair and stuff on these. But yeah, a good way to check to see how warm they are is look at this little tag here. It doesn't have any um, cracks in it or anything. Some of the older ones you'll see cracks. And then a lot of the Lululemon stuff that I have in here is really tiny, which I'm going to sell. So I don't feel so bad if I do end up keeping a couple pairs for myself. So these were $5. Lululemon. I really hit, I mean, I scored big at this garage, so I went with all this Lululemon and Athleta stuff. It is so hard to find this kind of stuff for decent prices. And yeah, these are probably like an older style, but I'm pretty sure I can at least get 20 bucks for these. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh no. Well, I'm still going to try to sell these. Looks like somebody had to sew that. I should have looked more carefully at those. Dang, dang, dang. Okay, those I'm just going to probably list for what I paid for them so they can sell. These were $5. My hands, my arm was stuffed with clothes at the garage sale, and I felt like I was going to break my arm. There was nowhere for me to set my stuff because everybody else had their stuff sitting on the table too because there was so much good stuff. So I was just trying to go through stuff and kind of rush to go, you know, check out because my arm was going to break. So here's some more Lululemon. So full of cat hair. Five dollars. So I couldn't beat that because I'm hoping to get 20 or more. So these were just kind of basic gray ones. I thought it was kind of cute with these frilly little things down here. These ones were $5. Really, these ones were in excellent, excellent condition. Too bad they're not my size. That's such a cute, like, rainbow band here. Oh my gosh. If you guys have any tips for Poshmark for me, let me know. I'm just, I'm just kind of starting out on there. I have some stuff listed. But I'm probably going to list a lot of this stuff on there to see how it goes. To see if it is better than eBay for me. Okay, more Lululemon. I'm not going to take too much time on these because I have so many. Three bucks. They're a little bit more worn, but yeah. Score. Next, more Lululemon. Four dollars. I couldn't pass up those ones that were so cheap because nowadays, when you're at Gratzels, you never see anything that cheap. This is four dollars. This was a uh, Lucy brand. I always have pretty good luck with this. And this is a men's super soft shirt that I could not pass up. This was $3, and I'm not familiar with this brand. But it was super soft. It's a button-up. If I can't sell it, I know someone in my family would probably enjoy it. This was a good find here. This was Mountain Hardware. That's a really good brand. And that was $5. That's a really good quality item as well. I'm guessing this will sell for at least $30 in the winter time. Then we have some Athleta pants. Here is the Athleta symbol. If you guys don't know, keep your eye out for that. This stuff is really, really good. Too bad these are extra, extra small because I love this style so much. It's super cute. Cargo pocket. Next, I got this Goodfellow brand. I think this is from Target, but it was brand new with tags. And I thought maybe I'll give it to someone for Christmas or sell it. We'll see. 
can't beat three bucks for a brand new flannel. And I found this vintage camel shirt. You never know how well the vintage stuff sells, but I thought this would be worth a shot. Hopefully this is worth a surprisingly, a surprisingly good amount. That would be so fun. So that was five bucks. Then I got this Minnesota Twins t-shirt. It kind of looks vintage because it says 2012. Well, probably not vintage, but older. The $23 tag is still on there. And I paid $4. Here's a Timberland t-shirt I got for two bucks. That's a good brand. And oh my gosh, I love turtles. Look at what's on the front of this shirt. And the tag is still... Ugh. The tag is still on here for $15.99 and this is one of those shirts that if you get it in the sun it turns colors. I've bought one of these before on vacation but how cute is this? So cute and it's Punta Gorda, Florida and I love Florida and turtles so couldn't pass up that up for two bucks. Here we have an Athleta long tank top. Super long, super soft, and stretchy. Then I grabbed these cute little Under Armour shorts. Two bucks. Lululemon tank top, five bucks. Really nice hot pink color. And these Lululemon shorts. were six dollars but I didn't see any stains or rips so I'm excited about those I'm gonna have a hard time finding the sizing in here but I did see some somewhere so we'll see these might might even fit me we'll see this shirt was three dollars I'm not familiar with this brand vanilla bay but it looks super cute just a basic white hoodie with these colors on the sleeves. And we have a camel sweatshirt. Express brand. Five bucks. I'm almost tempted to see if this fits me and keep it. It's a size medium. It's just so, so soft. This was really unique. I thought a dollar. I'm going to see what this brand is all about. Fresh Laundry brand. It kind of sounds familiar, but we'll see. But look at the back. So unique. And it looks like there's like Chinese writing or something on it. Let me know if you guys know anything about this brand. I'm very unfamiliar. Then... One last splurge here was $10 for these Miss Me jeans, but when you guys see a larger size of Miss Me, they usually sell for more. People are always on the lookout for like larger sizes, so I'm hoping these fit me. So, so cute. And they're skinny jeans, which is even cuter. I don't like bell bottoms anymore, so this is more my style. So, please fit. Please, please fit. Okay, I showed you all that. And the last thing I want to show you guys is these three witches that I found. Um, I just noticed her foot is broken. But not too big of a deal. I can kind of hide it. But I'm putting these on my fireplace in, um, in the Halloween season more. And I was looking for witches so hard last year. And they were so expensive everywhere I went. So I thought, oh my gosh, what a find. These were only a dollar each. And look, they're bobbleheads. Now I just need to find a witch's cauldron to gather them around. But this kind of reminded me of that witch's movie that is always on during Halloween with the three witches in it. I can't remember. I cannot remember the name of that movie, but you guys know. This witch really looks like she's part of that movie. Comment down below if you guys remember that movie. <laughs>
But yeah, those were my finds for today. Let me know what your guys' favorite thing that I showed you in this huge pile was. Um, I'm hoping to go garage selling more often this year, so stay tuned for more videos. See you guys around. Please subscribe. Bye!